edition of Mission Workshop Reviews, right by and test all the gears so you don't have to. And today we're going to be taking a look at Mission Workshop's rendition of the classic polo, The Vector. Now every man's wardrobe should include at least one polo, so why not get one made out of merino wool, one of the most durable, timeless, classic materials that you can get. Uh, in addition to being four-way stretch and breathable, it's also great in the hot and the cold, it really is just a fantastic fabric. If you're watching this channel, I don't really need to sing the praises of merino wool in the technical clothing uh, industry because you know all about it. But this particular type of merino wool right here is Mission Workshop's proprietary blend. And they're gonna first start off with a very high-end merino, 18.9 micron merino. And all that really means is the individual uh, merino fibers are about the thickness of a human hair. And what does that mean in real life? It means that you can wear this next to skin. It's not gonna be like one of those woolly sweaters that, that itch and you gotta wear an undershirt underneath. Nope, I have nothing underneath this right on my skin. Feels fantastic. Also, the grams per square meter is very high. It's 190. Just think of that as like a thread count. Like with sheets, the higher the thread count, the more soft and comfortable the sheets are next to skin. Same thing with merino. This is a very high thread count. So it's a lot of really thin fibers. Now, all of that normally wouldn't make the most durable piece of merino because it's a very thin and fine merino. And while it will feel comfortable, how would it survive in day-to-day -day usage? Well, that's where Mission Workshop's proprietary blend comes in. They use filament nylon core that's spun throughout the entire fabric and it really gives it structure and strength. Maybe there's some other companies out there that are doing something similar. I haven't seen it. All I know is Mission Workshop's nailed it. I have owned other versions of this Merino blend and some of their other shirts for years and it they survive countless washings and wearings. So of course, when they came out with a polo, I just picked this up. Now, if you really like this material, but maybe polo isn't for you, of course, you should absolutely check out the sector. Um, same material, just in a t-shirt cut. Um, this actually comes in at $74. This is gonna be the, the cheapest you can get into uh, for some of their merino material. And I did a review of this shirt a really long time ago, so the quality is kind of crappy on my video, but you can check that out here. Um, now, you could also get the District, which is for their mountain biker line. Um, so this is gonna be a longer cut, um, has some cool buttons. This comes in at um, 139, and you could check out a review I did a District here, but this review is for the Vector, and this comes in in between those two. Uh, at 135 for the price. I really like it a lot. Um, it's actually a three button polo. So you can wear it like this, which is kind of trendy these days. I don't know, uh, that's up to you. You could just undo the top button, which is a more uh, traditional wear. And those have a middle button too, um, you know, on a particularly hot day. Uh, and I suppose, of course, you could, you know, undo it all. I actually like these shirts because I'm a glasses wearer, so it has a really big neck opening for me, and I could take this on and off without removing my glasses. And just an added bonus, I guess, a button-up shirt. So this cut is basically like the sector. Um, so basically, if you have the sector, it's one of their pop most popular original pieces. Um, same cut, which is to say thin cut, not skinny cut. Um, this is an extra large as I normally wear. Um, it's not gonna be very long like the District. Um, it's gonna come just a little bit above the waist and we'll do some fit picks in, in just a moment. Um, but I did wanna kind of zoom in here a little bit so we can look at this collar. I don't know if this is actually made of merino or not, um, but the point is this isn't flimsy um it's not like stiff like obviously it bends there's no collar stays or anything like that 
but uh, it's not gonna get all like wrinkly or that dreaded, uh, you know, uh, baconing as they call it. Sometimes collars get really just crinked and wrinkled and look terrible. This has some really nice structure. Um, so I mean, it's a, it's a good collar. Honestly, look, this is this is just a polo shirt, um, but this is you know really a top of the line, really great manufactured. Um, and it's in that awesome merino wool. So let's take a look at some fit picks and see how this looks. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I have a lot more stuff to review. We are still in like this quarantine here. This is uh, May 2020, and I don't got anything really better to do than to just keep pumping out these videos of reviews. I got so much more stuff just backlogged. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps out this channel more than you know. Hit the bell icon there or there. I always forget. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Check out my past reviews. We have over 100. Drop a comment and I'll see you guys real soon with more reviews.